Welcome back to Current Drive. When Elon Musk recently told investors, Optimus 4 will reach 10 million units, Optimus 5 could be 50 to 100 million, even longtime followers paused. The idea that Tesla could produce tens of millions of humanoid robots sounded less like a forecast and more like a science fiction script. But behind the bold words lies a complex strategy that Tesla has been building quietly for three years. During the company's Q3 2025 earnings call, Musk once again shifted attention from electric cars to his favorite non-automotive project, the Tesla Optimus humanoid robot. He confirmed that Optimus Gen 3 is nearing completion and is scheduled to debut in the first quarter of next year. Musk described it as so lifelike that observers might have to poke it to confirm it isn't human. That single remark set off a new wave of speculation. According to leaks circulating before the call, Optimus 3 is expected to feature smoother joints, hidden wiring, and proportions that closely match a real person. Rumors also point to an OLED display on its face, built-in Grok voice integration, and redesigned human-like hands. Musk neither confirmed nor denied those details, but he did admit the current prototype, Optimus 2.5, already performs complex motion sequences such as kung fu routines, microphone handling, and food service demonstrations at Tesla facilities. These public showcases are meant to prove one thing, the humanoid project is advancing faster than most outsiders think. Yet Musk conceded that manufacturing remains a major challenge. Optimus 2 was almost impossible to produce, he said. We had to redesign it completely to make large-scale manufacturing feasible. Behind the optimism is a tougher reality. The Tesla bot's biggest engineering obstacle isn't its legs or AI, it's its hands. Musk explained that crafting hands as dexterous as a human's is an incredibly difficult electromechanical problem, harder than building the rest of the robot combined. He estimated that up to 60% of the total cost of an Optimus unit could come from its hands alone. To achieve true dexterity, Tesla engineers are replicating the biomechanics of a human arm, five fingers, multiple joints, variable tendon lengths, and a forearm-based actuator system. Each miniature motor must deliver precise control, powerful torque, and silent movement, all in a space smaller than a smartphone. The goal is to enable delicate actions like cracking an egg or threading a needle, tasks that most existing robots cannot do reliably. But hardware isn't the only barrier. Scaling production is another. Musk announced an internal target of 1 million Optimus units per year, adding that, there is no supply chain for humanoid robots. This forces Tesla to build nearly everything in-house, from actuators and sensors to AI processors. Continuing its trademark strategy of extreme vertical integration. It's a costly but potentially decisive advantage if the humanoid market ever takes off. Musk also floated one of his most provocative ideas yet, using Optimus as a medical assistant or even a surgical robot. He argued that a machine capable of operating around the clock could reach five times the annual productivity of a human, since it doesn't need rest or food, and can be tethered for continuous operation. In theory, a tethered Optimus could run 8760 hours a year versus roughly 2000 hours for a full-time human worker. While the concept raises ethical and safety questions, Musk framed it as part of a future world of sustainable abundance. For now, Tesla's focus remains on domestic tasks, the kind that demonstrate practical value to consumers. Cleaning, cooking, and organizing a home may sound mundane, but proving competence in these areas would mark a huge leap for robotics. Optimus must earn trust inside ordinary households before it ever steps into hospitals or factories. Human-like dexterity is central to that mission. The human hand has 27 joints and a web of muscles and tendons that allow both strength and finesse. Tesla's engineers are attempting to replicate this structure with 22 degrees of freedom in each robotic hand. Early tests show Optimus can already handle fragile items, slicing tomatoes, spreading condiments, or lifting objects of varying weight, without crushing or dropping them. Competing robotics firms, including Unitree, have yet to achieve comparable control, their machines excel at dynamic movement but still struggle with tasks requiring fine motor precision. Optimus also learns differently from traditional robots. 
Instead of relying solely on pre-programmed instructions, it uses simulation-based training similar to Tesla's approach with its self-driving cars. Engineers can feed hours of video tutorials, like someone making breakfast or folding laundry, into Optimus's neural network. The robot then practices these behaviors in a virtual environment, repeating and refining until it achieves consistent success. This simtorial process allows Optimus to teach itself new skills daily, greatly accelerating development. Musk revealed that Optimus prototypes have been training up to 16 hours per day at Tesla's Palo Alto facility. Each iteration not only expands its skill set but also improves locomotion. The next generation hardware promises smoother balance, faster walking speed, and better adaptability across varied surfaces. Voice commands are supplemented by gesture and facial expression recognition, so pointing to a sink of dirty dishes could automatically trigger the cleaning sequence. Using onboard cameras and depth sensors, Optimus can map each household and avoid obstacles such as pets or furniture while it works. However, Tesla isn't alone in this race. Unitree's H2 humanoid, introduced recently, stands 5 feet 9 inches tall and weighs about 70 kilograms. It can perform athletic demonstrations, spins, kicks, even catwalk struts, but has yet to show clear household utility. Meanwhile, American startup Figure AI has drawn attention with its Figure 03 robot, a refined successor to earlier prototypes. Figure 03 sports a softer, fabric covered exterior wireless foot pad charging, and palm cameras that maintain vision even when the main head sensors are blocked. Its improved actuators move twice as fast and deliver greater torque, letting it handle repetitive pick-and-place work close to human speed. Demo footage shows figure 03 loading dishwashers, folding clothes, and packing goods, exactly the space Tesla wants Optimus to dominate. That competition raises the stakes for Tesla's upcoming reveal. Unless Optimus 3 demonstrates a significant leap beyond these rivals, Figure AI could claim the title of the most capable humanoid robot currently in production. Musk's confidence, though, suggests Tesla has surprises left to show. What's clear from the Q3 2025 call is that Tesla views Optimus not as a side project but as a cornerstone of its long-term vision. By merging its expertise in AI, energy systems, and large-scale manufacturing, the company aims to build an entirely new economic sector. The notion of selling millions of affordable humanoids may seem far-fetched, but it mirrors how Tesla once talked about mass-producing electric cars before anyone believed it possible. If Optimus Gen 3 indeed launches early next year and scales as Musk predicts, it could signal the beginning of a profound shift in labor, healthcare, and home life. Whether that shift leads to greater prosperity or unforeseen disruption will depend on how responsibly these machines are integrated into society. For now, Optimus stands as both a marvel of engineering ambition and a test of how far human ingenuity, and corporate daring, can go. That wraps up today's deep dive into Tesla's humanoid future. What do you think, will Optimus become a household helper or a high-risk experiment? Share your thoughts below. And if you found this breakdown useful, hit the like button and subscribe to Current Drive for more investigative looks at the world's most ambitious technologies. See you in the next video.